All right, developing news out of Baldwin County. A judge has granted youthful offender status to Derek Wood. Derek is the brother of Brittany Wood, who's been missing for more than two years. He and several other family members face a number of charges of sex abuse against children in both Mobile and Baldwin counties. And with today's ruling, all records of his case moving forward will be sealed. Fox 10 News Baldwin County reporter Hal Sherrick spoke with attorneys on both sides. We may never know what the future holds for Derek Wood now that he's been granted youthful offender status. Judge Jody Bishop's courtroom was only open to Wood's family and attorneys, and all results of the hearing and any sentence will remain sealed to the public. Prosecutors could not release any details of what happened in that courtroom, but said there will be more to come. There are still some open ends to be tied. It's not, it's not a um, complete resolution at this point in time, but uh, there are negotiations. Uh, Pending. According to Woods' attorney, Derek Rose, Woods been in jail since December of 2012 on charges of second-degree rape and second-degree sodomy. Prosecutors say the victim was between the ages of 12 and 16 at the time of the offenses. Assistant District Attorney Teresa Hines says those charges will no longer apply and that Wood will be charged as a youthful offender. Derek opened up to Fox 10 News in an exclusive phone interview from the Baldwin County Jail last April. He told us that he was sexually abused by his uncle, Donnie Holland, from the time he was seven and it continued for years. A victim himself and now a sex abuse suspect. Through all of his legal battles, he said his missing sister is always on his mind. It's been pretty hard, man. I, I really just would like to find my sister. I mean, the jail time's hard, but it's just time. I'm just sitting around praying that my sister would come home and we could find something about her. Prosecutors in Mobile and Baldwin counties face a huge hill to climb with nine different suspects in what they call a child sex ring with many of Wood's relatives. Through all of the court hearings and investigations, Brittany's disappearance is still a priority. There is not a week that doesn't go by that we don't receive information um, that is thoroughly investigated by the Mobile Police Department, the Baldwin County Sheriff's Office, and the Mobile County Sheriff's Office. We follow up on every lead, every rumor. Um, we are all working together as a joint unit to try and find Brittany. Woods attorney Derek Rose was not available for an on-camera interview today, but he did tell me on the phone that this case was not resolved. He says that if convicted and sentenced, Wood could face up to three years in jail on both charges. For now, he's working on getting him out of jail on bond. Reporting in Baymanette, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News. Wood had filed a motion for youthful offender status before, but it had been denied. Prosecutors told us that as long as the case is pending, a defendant can reapply for youthful offender status, and that was the case here.